Thursday, it's gonna be a tough one. So what we're gonna do is 40 alternating dumbbell clean and jerks, 20 burpees, 40 alternating dumbbell snatches, 20 burpees, 40 single arm dumbbell thrusters, 20 burpees, and oh my gosh, I forgot to mention, you're gonna do that for two rounds, not just one, not just one, you're gonna do it for two. All right, so let's break this down a little bit more. We're gonna put a 30 minute cap on this workout, so we don't want you working more than 30 minutes on this. And we want the workout to ideally take you about 24 minutes to complete. All right, so we wanna be around that 24 minute mark. Each set of the burpees, we want you taking somewhere between a minute to a minute and a half. Even when you're super tired, we don't really want you staying on the burpees more than a minute and a half. That's not the intent of this workout. So pick a number of burpees, especially you might have to modify this as you progress through the workout and you get more fatigued. Pick a number of burpees where you can stay under a minute and a half to complete them. So maybe you start with 20 and you finish it in about minute 20. And then as you get more tired, you're doing about 15 in a minute and a half, which is to totally fine. Just modify your reps. That's totally cool. So for the 40 alternating dumbbell clean and jerks, the 40 alternating dumbbell snatches and 40 single arm thrusters, each of those three movements we want you to be doing in either one, two, or three sets. It determines what weight you pick and how fatigued you are getting from these movements. We want this weight to be about a moderate load, so it's not something that's pretty heavy where you only can do for a handful of reps at a time, but a weight that you're pretty confident in moving. So let's start breaking the movements down. The alternating dumbbell clean and jerks. I'm going to start with that dumbbell, straddled right between my feet. My feet are going to be at about a squat stance, maybe a hair wider than that. I'm going to get my butt down, my chest up, and drive my knees out hard like this. I'm going to make sure I'm not twisting like this where my arm will be behind me. I'm going to make sure my arm stays out to the side to keep me centered. As I stand up, I'm going to squeeze my hips hard, pop my shoulder, and then I'm going to drop right down into a quarter squat. Now, since I've dropped into a quarter squat, that's gonna load me up ready to go for my jerk. I'm gonna snap my hips open, pop that dumbbell up, and then drop back down to that quarter squat with that dumbbell locked overhead. I'm gonna then stand and bring it down to my shoulder, switch hands, come back to the ground. So a few reps of that dumbbell clean and jerk will look like this. All right, one more. Couple things to keep in mind. You can make this a push press if you would like. So for example, when you come down after you've caught that dumbbell in that quarter squat, you can just lock out your hips and finish with that press. I highly recommend trying to do the jerk though so you save your shoulders for later on the workout because you literally need them for every single movement here. So try to save the shoulders. I recommend doing a jerk, but you can do a push press. Other thing is you can break that movement up a little bit more. So as I come up, I can catch my clean, stand all the way up and reset. Then I can go into my jerk. You don't have to piece it all together necessarily. All right, that's gonna be the dumbbell clean and jerk and you're alternating hands, right, left, right, left. 20 each side. Then the 40 alternating dumbbell snatches. So instead of going from our shoulder to overhead, we're gonna go from the ground directly to overhead. So I'm gonna set up the exact same way. And as I pop and shrug this time, now I'm gonna drive my elbow up high to let that dumbbell float up over the shoulder. And then I'm gonna sit down to that quarter squat stand and then reset into my other hand all the way back up. You can do muscle snatches here where I'm just gonna pop my hips and then finish with a little press out. Again, however, your shoulder will get a little bit more tired from doing that, but it is an option, okay? So that's gonna be that dumbbell snatch and either the snatch or the jerk. The biggest thing we wanna be making sure is that our back is flat here at the bottom and we're not getting lazy and rounding, especially in that second round. Lastly, for the dumbbell movements, single arm dumbbell thrusters. Notice these are not alternating like the first two. You just have to get 20 done on one side and then 20 done on the other. I recommend doing 10 on one arm, 10 on the other, and then doing that one more time through to get your 20 and 20. You could also just try to do all 20 on one side, then all 20 on the other. Again, it comes back to what weight you've picked, all right? So for my thruster, I'm gonna get my feet in about that same stance, that dumbbell is going to be on the shoulder. I'm going to drop down to a full squat, making sure my knees drive out, my weight's back on my heels. As I hit the bottom of my squat, I'm going to stand up strong, squeeze my hips, and then finish with that press out. As that dumbbell meets my shoulder, I'm going to unlock my knees, send my butt back, and I'm going to sink right down into the next rep. So a few reps in a row will look like this. I'm making sure that dumbbell is locked out right over the shoulder, 
and keeping that core nice and tight, making sure I'm not arching, making it difficult for air to get to my lungs, okay? So, those are our three dumbbell movements. The last one is those burpees. Again, can't stress this enough. Make sure you modify these if you need to. Cut the reps down, that's completely fine. So for the burpees, a few different options. We can just do a kickback burpee. Maybe save those shoulders. Maybe we're sore from the past few days. I'm gonna put my hands down, kick my feet back, make sure I get into a plank, kick my feet up, jump and clap. Then our burpee where we go all the way down to the ground, we can start by just doing that step back burpee and then we warm up, step one foot up, jump and clap. Other option, we can kick our feet back, warm our way up, one foot steps up, jump and clap, and then that last option, hands down, kicking the feet back, jump back up, and jump and clap. So, with whichever burpee option you do, with whichever weight you choose for the three movements that involve the dumbbell, make sure you're trying to pick a nice, smooth, and steady pace. The goal is not for you to sprint out 10 reps, then be out of breath for 30 seconds trying to catch your breath, then sprint another 10 reps out and keep going back and forth like that. We want you to try to pick a nice smooth pace that you can maintain for this whole workout. So it's gonna be a juicy one, probably the toughest one of the week. Good luck with it.